plaisir de vous rencontrer, Monsieur Lapadie. From the charmingly sinister streets of occupied France to the heart of cinematic villainy, Christoph Waltz captivates audiences with a performance that's as terrifying as it is mesmerizing. The camera stop rolling. The villainous veil lifts to reveal a man of unparalleled charm and wit. In the world of interviews and beyond, Christoph Waltz transforms the mundane into the extraordinary, handling even the most absurd questions with a grace and humor that lights up the room. Sesame Street, did they have Sesame Street in Austria? And, uh, not exactly. It's called Sesamstrasse. <laughs> Sesamstrasse? Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that scary. It actually is dubbed into German. It is. Yeah. You know, they all speak German. Once and for all. Uh, yes, the French dub English movies, German, Spaniards, Italians, pretty much everyone does it. What's the surprise here? And <laughs> also, French people aren't... Um, they, they're not flattered by an attempt to speak French. They actually hate you more. They hate you more, sometimes for good reason. <laughs> gotcha, Corden. Reading the comments, it seems French might hate you more for good reasons, as Christophe subtly intended. But the, uh, the Italians love it. Yes. If you, really? if you stumble, you yeah. wet. So, so I was one of the German actors to be invited to a casting. And then you read the script. And then, um, well, I, I kind of weighed the script in my hand at first. <laughs> it's the whole know. thing. The whole thing, you know, <laughs> heavy. That's how you take a long, boring script, add a touch of waltz, and make it sound suddenly more delightful. Yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, Hey, the, the big uh, game was last night, Super Bowl. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Super what? <laughs> <laughs> do you care about the football or the Super Bowl? I know nothing about football, nor do I care to find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Chimmy, time to change topic. What do you think? <laughs> when yeah, the saw... 80s. I hated it then. <laughs> <laughs> you hated the 80s. You're the uh, only one who hated the 80s. Well, I'm the only one who remembers them. <laughs> <laughs> do you hate the 80s? You Let me know in the comments. Socialize? No. no, no, because yes. I'm trying to think. You, yes. you have been injured on it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, you know, you get injured as you go along. Of course you do. What? Mostly psychologically. <laughs> Was it Django and Change would to ride a horn? I can only imagine what it's like to go out to celebrate with Quentin Tarantino. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I can't. <laughs> I mean, I know there's the the Germans, there's the cliche, which is they have no sense of humor. Do the... That's not a cliche. <laughs> it's just 100% true. Uh, very nice assist from Conan. Sort of, you know, um, Germans, I, I hope I'm not hurting anybody's feelings. <laughs> no, um, I, but, but Ger Germans... It does go out on television. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what I mean. <laughs> the Germans might hear about this. Yeah. Just please speak freely. It's just... Thank you. Speak. Thank you. I think Germans always go for, for a head-on collision. You know, it rarely has sort of grace and melody and rhythm. It's just the... They just <laughs> say exactly what they mean. Exactly. Everything else is dubious and, right, and right. slimy and... <laughs> yeah, I'm highly dubious and slimy, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you uh, Austrians then have a sense of humor. They're... Well, it's, it's, it, Austrians tend to make their lives easier. So first of all, they are very polite, and second, they don't mean it. So <laughs> now, German are very punchy and direct. That's true, but they have a really good sense of humor. You're really good at being bad. I mean, you, you play sinister so well. Oh yeah, but I'm bad at being good. <laughs> <laughs> when you take on roles like this, whether it's Django Unchained or the Oscar-winning role in *Inglorious Bastards*, how how do mm. you? How, how do you learn to, to be that mean and nasty? I mean, it may not exactly come as a surprise. <laughs> I'm an actor. <laughs> it's like, I'm good at so what I do. Like, and then someone told me, then someone told me that you only came back on the show not to see me, not to come and do the show, but just to see Hagar again. Is this not a secret? Cordon, Cordon, Cordon. Touche. Shushana! <laughs>